What's up? Hey, man. Good to see you. I miss you, man. All good? Yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm hanging in there. Good, good. Yeah. Seem like you're a little, uh, I don't know, a little mad or something. You're, you okay? I mean, no, nah, you know, I'm just thinking about stuff to put on my irk list, you know. Your irk list? Yeah. Yeah, it's a list that I do of, you know, whatever, people, places, things that just, you know, irk me. Mm. Like what would be what would be an example of something that would be on your on your irk list? Um, I right, for example, take uh like my, my four year old, my son, Tariq. He uh he keeps trying to like catch me in a lie. You know, he comes uh, he says, uh, Daddy, uh, you're not a transformer, transformer. And then I look at it, and it's a dinosaur that transforms into a spaceship. So, I mean, I don't know. When I was a kid, Transformers, they made more sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, what happens to robots in disguise? <laughs> so I say, uh, no, I don't know how to transform a transformer. But then he hits me with, but I thought you said you know everything, because I told him, you know, I know everything. So now I kind of have to live up to that. And he's just always trying to catch me in the lie. So I say, <laughs> uh, of, of course, I mean, I know how to do it. But I want you to do it yourself so you can learn to be more self-sufficient. But, you know, I'm just irked. I'm irked by that. You know what yeah, I'm just, just take it and just break it in half and say, there you go. Now transform it into two pieces. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I mean, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm a little irked by just having to do so much around the house. Like, just having to interact. Like, me, my kids, my wife, we're usually high and by because I don't have, you know, that much time at home. But now I'm forced to, like, you know, really really be be in it so <laughs> <laughs> you actually have to have a conversation with your your family yeah I'm, that's not what i'm here for <laughs> 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 like take it you did the work my 14 year old daughter uh Celia, she calls me every five minutes now you know it is like for random stuff dad uh there's a huge bug in my room it's in the light fixture uh i feel like it's holding me hostage now, I get upstairs when it's a ladybug the size of a pinhead. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. Like, really? Like, you know, I got out of bed for this. It hurts me. <laughs> it's the size of a pinhead. <laughs> like, just, just last night, it was, Dad, can you come up here? It's an emergency. I go, what's up? She says, I can't explain it. Could you just come and help me? So I run upstairs. I get up there now, and I'm winded, Jimmy. Like, I'm out of breath. I want to sit down. And she says, you know, she, she lost the TV remote. Where'd you lose the remote? It's inside of a part of her bed. Okay, so now I have to look into, like, the base of her bed. First of all, her mattress is, like, a 1,000 pounds. Like, it's, a, it's, like, it's one of those organic mattresses that feels like it's made out of, I don't know, it's filled with nickels or ball bearings or potatoes or something. <laughs> and it, it has, has no form like there's no structure to it so it just completely swallows you up inside of it like like a venus flytrap so <laughs> not trying to move the mattress finally get the mattress out of the way i climb out of the mattress and then the box spring <laughs> equally as heavy and then the remote is lost like down into this place that exists below the mattress and below the box spring and it's bolted shut so there's no way to reach it and the the, oh, the space that you know the remote had to be you know pushed she had to push it through she did it on purpose jimmy and it just irks me you know i mean it's like she's trying to test my fatherly skills or something so and then and then you get you know. lost in the in the mattress and she's like mom i can't find dad he's lost yeah in the exactly. <laughs> exactly man it's super whack just super whack man and so you got that she's a she also likes to facetime me like from other parts of the house it is just like unwarranted. It was almost like if I sent a text to somebody and then they immediately FaceTime me back at, instead of like replying to my text. And I'm like, I didn't want to FaceTime. I wanted the text. So yeah. I texted. You know what I'm saying? I also get surprise FaceTimers who they never text or regular call. They just wait until when they think is the most inconvenient time to FaceTime. And then they FaceTime me all crazy. It, it just irks me, man. <laughs> like, I don't want to FaceTime. I am no. in an eagle hat right now. And that's it in my underwear, if you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Tariq, thank you so much for letting me know what is irking you, what is on your irk list. I miss you, buddy. Uh, uh, you do not irk me, man. I miss you, too. I miss you, too. Um, yeah, I wish I could say the same, but... <laughs> <laughs> you just did. Oh, my gosh. We'll I mean, be right I miss back. you, but you, you, you definitely irk me, bro. <laughs> we'll be right back with more Tonight Show at home, everybody. Come on back. 
on and on and on. Uh, I said, and it's on and on and on. 